Um, let's have a look at the second project, the renewable hydrogen, renewable ammonia stream. Here you see again the uh, flow chart of how it would work. Um, I don't want to spend too much time to go, uh, to go into detail there. Um, it is based on electrolysis, also fully integrating in all the, uh, e all the initiatives that are going on in solar power and water, uh, water treatment in the region. Um, here we are in the process of finishing the feasibility study. That feasibility study should be finalized by uh, end of this year, uh, so that also during 2018, the detailed engineering and construction could, uh, could take place. We also believe that in 2019, this first demo project could uh, start production. Um, this will be a demo project. It will be very small. Um, let there be no misunderstanding. This first step is really to get experience uh, with the process to see how it integrates into our production facility um, so that we can uh, scale up after that. And we're quite ambitious because the future, uh, we believe that the future uh, will show that the cost of solar power uh, will start to co uh, come down and that it will really uh, will, uh, start to compete with the uh, conventional technologies. So what is the potential that we see? We believe that it could grow to a full replacement of our current uh, natural gas consumption by producing uh, hydrogen with a solar field that should not be on our site nor on the, on the Bura Peninsula. That will be a size that's so big that it should be placed somewhere at a better place uh, in the Pilbara. Um, there's enough sunshine. We have already seen that this morning uh, and this afternoon. Um, so basically, it could uh, get to the level where it replaces our full production, um, but it could go even a step further. In the long-term future, you could think about uh, making it so big that it could be a multiple of the current uh, ammonia production of 800,000 tons per year. And then you could think about integration of ammonia uh, into the world market, uh, but also in the, in the world market of uh, fuel production, renewable fuel production. And it's just an interesting uh, statistic. Currently, we produce about 180 million tons of ammonia worldwide, not only Yara, all the production facilities. If we would be able uh, to take 1.5% of the current fuel production in the world, uh, that would double the amount of ammonia produced uh, worldwide. So it, there is a tremendous potential uh, to produce more renewable ammonia, uh, which could replace the uh, uh, conventional fuel production in the future. Um, I see that I have 26 seconds left, and I definitely want to make it in time. So I'm going to stop here. Uh, so thank you very much for your attention.